We're going to be using a two camera setup. So I have my GoPro on my helmet and I have the Insta360 on the handlebar to get two angles, which could be useful. And I'm also using my uh, H1N recorder to capture my voice. And I'll get into why I'm using recorder. What's up guys? Welcome back to Try It With Tim. Today, I'm gonna show you how to edit your first moto vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's jump into the editing software and get started. Keep in mind, you can use any editing software. It could be the basic one that comes with your computer. It could be Final Cut or DaVinci. I used to use Final Cut a lot on my MacBook, but right now I'm on a PC, so I'm using Premiere. And um, Premiere is compatible on both Mac and PC, so that's why I'm kind of showing it with Premiere. But you can do this on any software. The principles will be the same. The uh, first thing we want to do is create a new project. Looks like a lot, but it's really simple. There's project templates here for broadcast, social media, and standard, and you can basically, you know, choose the resolution that you need. So if you need 4K or 2K or 1080p, but I'm gonna leave that at none and just create a new project. We'll call this one First Moto Vlog Tutorial. I tried one earlier. So this is gonna be a duplicate. I'm just gonna overwrite that one. Already exists, replace it. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is import our footage. I used two cameras today. I got the GoPro. I have the Insta360. And for audio, I used a Zoom audio recorder. This is the reason why moto vlogs can be a little bit complicated. Um, you know, a lot of us are trying to capture different angles and also good audio. So this is probably as complicated as it's going to get, but I promise you it's not too bad. So the first thing we need to do is import the media. I like to stay organized and what's cool about Premiere is you can create these things called bins. Basically it's just a folder. So I'll make one for GoPro, I'll make one for Insta360, and I'll make one for audio. For this project I could have just all dumped it all right there without making folders because it's not that much. So we can go to GoPro and to import the footage, just hit Control I. I already offloaded the footage from the cameras and the recorder, so I have it here. GoPro, we'll just select the GoPro and drop that in. All right, let's go to Insta360, Control I, and let's find our 360 footage, which is here, right there. 360 footage is a pain in the butt because there's always that extra step to export the angle that you want. So I had to use the Insta360 software to export the footage to make it usable. Okay, so now we got all our footage all plugged in. I'll start with the GoPro footage. I'm gonna drag the GoPro footage onto the timeline. And what's cool about this, remember we didn't start with a template, so We've created a project based on the resolution of the first clip that we drop in. So this is 4K GoPro footage and the project will export in 4K now. I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so we're gonna figure this out together. Okay, so we have on this top, we have the video and then we have the audio layer. So I used multiple cameras, right? So here's the Insta360 footage. I'm gonna drop this right on top of the GoPro footage. So now we have the Insta360 on top, GoPro on the bottom, and the two audio tracks. I'm gonna make this a little bit more complicated and drop in the audio recorder. What's cool about Premiere 2, you just hit the plus sign and you can zoom in and see the audio. So when you're using multiple cameras and a separate audio track, you have to sync the audio together. Simple hand clap, just like that, two of those. So what I'm doing now is I wanna go into here and look for those claps. And you can see them in these spikes right here. And you can match it with the footage, of course. I'm also going to hide the Insta360 footage, start with the GoPro footage. And there's my first clap. Two, 
three. This first part of syncing together the footage is probably the most difficult part. But just take your time. Right there. All right. So I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard and I'm just gonna cut it right there. So I've cut that first one. All right. What I can do now is delete anything before that because I don't really need it. And it's gonna help me clean everything up. So shortcut is C to cut and then V to go back to the arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna delete everything before that. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to now mute this track, hide the GoPro footage and show the Insta360 footage. And I'm gonna find where I got those claps. See, the 360 footage is a little more quiet, so turn this up so I can hear it. That's still muted, my bad, no wonder. Okay, so I see the spikes there. There's the big, that's the big one I want to capture right there. Boom. Go here. I'm going to cut the everything before that with C and then V. Click that section. Delete it. Now, look at the magic. I'm going to drag this right there with the GoPro footage. If I play these together now, should sound in sync. Okay, so we've got that sync together. All we need to do now is mute these and let's unmute the audio track, the recorder, which is the actual audio that I want to use because this is going to be the cleanest audio. Oh, it's all the way over here. My claps are here, so I'm just going to cut this here, delete that, and then bring this here so I can get a closer look at that. Okay, there they are. They're a lot smaller. Okay, cool. I want that big. See, sometimes it's like, which one do you use? Might be that one. I'm going to use that one. Okay, and you drag that there. And now look at, look at this, the audio spikes. It's like they all match up. Now, if you play all three, this is what it'll sound like together. So I've unmuted all the tracks. Let's see if they sound like they're in sync. What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm right. So the goal here is to use the audio from the recorder and get rid of the GoPro and Insta360 audio. Um, the GoPro audio is probably pretty good already. Um, I probably would not need to use this, but I'm going to show you the difference in how they sound. So first, I'm going to mute these. I'm going to let you see what the GoPro sounds like. All right, I'm going to cut to the front camera now. And as you can see, that was a smooth transition. So I'll be using Premiere Pro. This is going at low speeds and I could already kind of hear some like crackling. And on the highway, it's almost unusable. So this is why I use the audio recorder. So now let's mute that and go to the audio recorder and see how that sounds. It might sound like crap. I don't know yet. I feel like it captures the engine better. All right, I'm gonna cut to the front camera now. And as you can see, that was a smooth transition. So I'll be using Premiere Pro. Audio sounds good, but it's a little loud. I'm gonna show you how to bring that down after I delete these two clips. So the thing about Premiere is it links the video with the audio clip. So if you don't do this next step, you can't delete the audio without deleting the video. So I'm gonna right click on the video and I'm gonna unlink the footage, right? So now I can just delete the audio by itself right here, boom. I'm gonna do the same thing for the GoPro, unlink, boom. Now I can just take the audio off, just like that. 
and now I'm just left with these two videos I have the Insta360 video and I have the GoPro video so I'm gonna ahead and drag this audio from the recorder up just to simplify things we don't need those other tracks anymore really and now I'm gonna unmute so I want to start with the GoPro footage so I'm gonna hide the Insta360 and go to the point where I my vlog actually starts which is somewhere here so I wanted to show you guys how I edit my right there all right I also want to monitor the audio and this is where you want to fix your audio levels right in the beginning so I wanted to show you guys so the audio is going over negative six that's just it's too loud you want to keep your audio around this level negative 12 you know between like negative 18 and negative six it really depends you can go to your your uh, audio mixer right here they, they look different in different softwares but you can basically turn down the gain or the decibels so I'm gonna turn it down to it's at an appropriate level so I wanted to show you guys how I edit my photo blog so in this video I'm gonna there show you go. how like to that. edit your first photo blog um, we're gonna be using a two camera setup so I have my GoPro on my helmet and I have the in all right, so I'm down at about like negative eight right now. So if you've made it this far, give yourself an applause. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, we need to cut that. Okay. So we've done that. I want to pick it up right here. So when we're cutting the footage, we want to make sure we cut all of them. We want to make sure like these three tracks stay in sync the entire time. So and then you know delete all of them. And I'm gonna drag this to the beginning okay so now we have this so in this video i'm going to show you how to edit your first moto vlog um, we're going to be using a two camera setup so i have my gopro on my helmet and i have the insta 360 on the handlebar to get two angles which could be useful and i'm also using my uh, h1n recorder to capture my voice and i'll get into why i'm using recorder because I also have the GoPro media mod, which also captures audio, but I've had issues with this, like on the freeway. Um, it's hard to regulate the volume with this. So I use this so I could fine tune the volume, but I'm gonna show you guys how I go about that. Okay, so let's cut it there. I'm just gonna cut the clip there, cut them all, boom. I'm doing this on the fly, so bear with me. A little bit, uh, just to get some footage. The first thing that you want to do when you have audio and multiple cameras. There you go, I like that right there. So, I'm going to cut these here. Boom, boom. And I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to bring these two together. And now, here's a cut right here. Check this cut out. About that. As you can see, the first thing. So, you can kind of tell that there is a cut right there. I go about that. As you can see, one way to fix that is to jump into the other camera angle. And this is why I like using two camera angles to maintain that continuity of the footage and to make it seem smoother. Okay, so how do we do that? So since I'm starting the video over here with GoPro, I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna show, unhide the Insta360 track and delete that. We're just doing GoPro footage. And it's going to cut now here to the Insta360 footage. I'm going to show you guys how I go about that. As you can see, the first thing that you want to do when you... So now you can't tell if there's a cut there. I just cut to another camera. And that made it, to me, seem a lot smoother. The thing that you want to do when you have audio and multiple cameras is to do some... Is to do... See, that's... This is the magic of editing right here, so... Watch this. As you can see, the first thing that you want to do when you have audio and multiple cameras is to do some, is to do some. See, I messed up there, so. Cameras is to do is some, is to do some type of and multiple cameras. Is I'm gonna cut it there, because I stumbled right there. Here is the magic of editing. I'm gonna show you guys. Is to do some. I'm 
cut it there. I'm gonna take out these two. I'm gonna smash these two pieces together. And now I'm going to cut this one down. To do, do some type of syncing so that you can take it into the editing software. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut it here, here, here. I'm gonna take this piece and delete it. So now you can't really tell that I stumbled there. Have audio and multiple cameras is to do some type of syncing. You so see that? that? And clean. multiple cameras is to do some type of syncing so that you can take it into the editing software and match up the clips and the audio. So something as simple as a hand clap will do. I usually do like two hand claps, just. Boom. So let's see, where do I want to pick up next? And then I'm going to start the bike. I like to do this stuff before I start. Yeah. Show you right here. Cut that out. It's tedious. I know it looks tedious, guys, but I'm a little extra when it comes to this. And then I'm going to start the bike. I like to do this stuff before I start the bike because then the bike noise will interfere with that. And then once the bike is turned on, I may have to adjust the levels of this because yeah, it's, it's a Harley, so it gets really loud. Okay, so I like to cut it there. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to take off that top one. As you can see, it kind of starts having a pattern and a flow. You know, whatever you're using on the handlebar. And then I'm going to start the bike. I like to do this stuff before I start the bike because then the bike noise will interfere with that. And then once the bike is turned on, I may have to adjust the levels of this because yeah, it's, it's a Harley, so it gets really loud. Hopefully it starts. I haven't ridden in a while. Woo! She started right up. This is... And now I want to show what I'm looking at, so I'm going to take out that Insta360 footage. And probably up to that point. I'm going to cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut. I didn't even have to cut them all, but there. Started right up. This is, you don't want this to go over negative six. So I keep that between like negative 12, negative six. That looks good right there. So I can put this away now. Cool, so I'm gonna put that away. And then I wanna pick up to actually where I start riding. Where did I start talking? Let's see. Um, you know, sometimes you're riding and it depends. It depends on what type of content you're doing, but maybe you're. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to pick it up. So cut, cut, cut. Take out all this right here. I think you can always undo guys. Let's say like, oh no, I messed up. Control Z, boom, it's right back. Oh no, I messed up. Control Z, okay, there we go. But let's take it off. Okay, so let's drag that there. So I can put this away now. You know, sometimes you're riding and it depends on what type of content you're doing, but maybe you're... So I'm just gonna cut here, here. Now I want to get rid of that footage. So this looks smooth again. The audience, there's going to be periods when you're riding where you're not saying anything, right? And you're going to cut to the next topic, whatever you're talking about. Here's another pet peeve of mine. And most people don't even notice it. But when you're cutting, when you're piecing together two clips, especially moto vlogging clips, you get that clipping sound between, the, you know, it's because the engine changes levels so you get like a very abrupt clipping sound there's gonna be i right, see so hear that did you hear it there's gonna that little okay so take that out again guys you don't need to do this this is just like extra i like to fade it out the volume there's a little thing and drag to kind of like come on work i wish i got a zoom in man You can like fade into the next so it drops the volume and increases it gradually so there's gonna be it gets rid of that popping sound into the audience there's gonna be Down. periods when you're riding Smooth. where you're not saying all right 
So let's pick up over here. Cut these out. Drop this in. All right, I'm gonna cut to the front camera now. And as you can see, that was a smooth transition. Let's say you forgot to do the sync, you know, with the clapping. Another thing you could do, and maybe it'll work, is to honk your horn. Go like three times on the horn. Do it right over here so I don't scare this guy. So just one, two. And let's see if it picked that up. Yeah, you could barely see that. But yeah, you can still hear it. So if you needed to, you forgot to do your sync, pretty sure you'd be able to get the audio to closely match up using the horn honking. So, nice. One, two. And try to use the horn to sync the audio. Over here, so I don't scare this guy. So just one, two. Pick and up try to use the horn angle. to sync the audio. All right, that's pretty much it for the explanation on the different cameras and the angles. So let's head back to the office and show you how I edit this footage. And boom, here we are. My head kind of wants to explode right now because I'm talking about editing a video while I'm editing the video about editing a video. So All right, so let's say like you ended the vlog right there. So that was like 20 minutes of writing and look, I've cut that down to like three minutes. And um, of course I'm not gonna upload this, but I'm gonna show you how to export it. Whoops, zoom out so you can see what that looks like. Boom. So you see it's a lot of transitioning between the two cameras and to give it that smoothness. All right, so, you know, we can add a little razzle dazzle. Um, let's say you want that to fade in nicely. We can just go to effects here. They got video transitions. I always like to add that, maybe like a dip to black fade in there. Just drop it on the clip. Watch this. So in this video, Boom, I'm fades in. See that? that so little... in this video, I'm makes it a little smoother you know okay and then we could do at the end as well dip it to black and I don't want this clip underneath to show so I'm gonna delete that show you how and fades black so in this video I'm gonna show you how I can extend that if I want if I want that fading to start earlier And then I want so to this God, stop it. And then I want the audio to fade out smoothly too. So I'm gonna drag that. Boom, like and subscribe. So in this video, Thank you guys. I'm gonna done. That's it. It's a wrap. Good job, guys. Yes. Okay. Last thing guys, last thing we need to do. I wouldn't export a blog like this. This is a pretty boring vlog. I'd add some music. You can drop some music here, add that to the background. You know, do I gotta show, all right, let me show you that. Let's find a track. I like to use, let's find a track to use. Um, I'm not sponsored by Epidemic, but I do use them. Let's see. What can I can use F? Let's see, I got lo-fi piano music. Let's try that. Nope. Let's see what this sound like. I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna drag that here. It's gonna be way too loud. You're not gonna be able to hear myself talking. So let's say we start it in the beginning like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how oh, it's muted. Unmute that real quick. 
So in this video, I'm going to show it's you how to edit your first drop and down. down. Drop um, and down. We're going to be using a two camera setup. So I have my GoPro nice and low. on my helmet and I have the Insta360 on the handlebar <sighs> to get two angles, which could be that? useful. And I'm also using my uh, you don't want H1 the music to be too loud and distracting to capture my voice. And I'll get into why I'm using recorder because I also have the GoPro media mod, which yeah. also captures audio, but I've had issues with. And then I only want a little bit of that to play up. Just play it in the intro right there and I'll have it fade out. So it's not abrupt. Let's show you what it sounds like when it's abrupt, how I go about that. As it you just see stops, the right? Now you want that to fade out smooth guys. I mean, Abruptness works sometimes. It really depends on the situation, but let's fade it out. But I'm going to show you guys how I go about that. Nice. As you can see, the first. See, you see that? I want it to fade in as well, so it's just not. So it's nice and smooth. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your first moto vlog. Um, we're going to be using a two-camera setup, so I have my go. Just like that, right? So up here, there's import. We're in the edit tab and there's an export tab conveniently and it's file name. It's just named it as the first clip I dropped in there. We'll change that to your first moto vlog. And um, you can see the output settings here. Uh, it's 4K, 60 frames per second, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what any of it means. Okay. And I want this to go to my desktop and I'll just hit export. It's going to take like a minute and 30 seconds. This is a, a very short example. Of course, your vlog is probably going to be way longer. This is just like a simple example, but I hope this kind of gave you a conceptual idea of how I approach the edit and hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Um, if there's anything that you'd like for me to cover further in the tutorial would love to do it and I just don't know what you guys are looking for you know maybe I can show you how to export the insta360 footage um, one thing I actually want to get into next is kind of how to build an intro and how to use b-roll and um, different camera angles to build an interesting intro and also conclusion to your video I like to think of these videos as like a story, like a three part story, right? You have your beginning, you have the middle and you have the ending or the conclusion. I think in the next tutorial, I'll get into that structure and how to stay on topic and tell your story. Thanks guys for checking out this video. I hope this helped. And if you want to see more of the technical side of how to set up your camera in the audio recorder, I'll leave a link to a video I've done in the past that goes over more of the hardware stuff. That is pretty much it guys. And uh, thanks again for checking this video out. I hope you guys like these type of tutorial videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ride safe and have fun making your first motovlog. Peace.